Hello guys! In this video I will be demonstrating how to work with one of the best PDF editors, PDF Element Pro 7. I am going to demonstrate the main features of this program. If you want to discover more, there will be a link in the description to this video, so you can either get a free trial or buy this software. If you are planning on buying the PDF Element Pro 7, you may want to use that link to support this channel at absolutely no cost to you. Alright, so what is the PDF Element Pro 7? If you are in need of a professional PDF editor with the most complete feature set, but you don't want to keep paying for the Adobe Sacrobot Pro DC every month or annually, the program we are going to review is going to be the best alternative. PDF Element Pro 7 is a full-fledged professional PDF editing software that allows you to create, edit, scan and share the PDF documents. And the best thing is, you don't have to subscribe. You can just get a perpetual license and forget about any further payments. If you're a Mac user, please stay tuned, as the PDF Element Pro 7 is also available for Mac OS. All the features that I'm going to cover in this review are available in both Windows and Mac OS versions. I hope this was a good start. Now let's get to the point and see how to use the PDF Element Pro. Right from the start you can enjoy its beautifully designed user interface. On the main screen you can quickly proceed to one of the five most frequent PDF tasks. Create a PDF. This feature allows you to create a PDF document from scratch. Batch process multiple files. This allows you to perform one of many operations on a set of files. Combine a PDF. This one lets you automatically generate a PDF document from the list of different files. PDF templates. Allows you to use one of the templates to create a new PDF document that you can edit and save. Convert a PDF. Lets you convert your PDF document to one of the other document types including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, JPEG, PNG, HTML and other types. To make this video more engaging, we are going to start with editing the existing PDF document. I have prepared this price catalog PDF here that I am going to open and start editing. In order to switch into an edit mode, we would need to click this button, edit text and image objects. After we have clicked it, we can now edit every element in this document. Keep in mind, some documents might have been protected from editing. In that case, this button would not be available and you would not be able to edit the document. In my case, this document is not protected, so I can edit this text here. I can resize this image. If you want to keep the aspect ratio when resizing the image, you would need to hold down the shift key and then drag the mouse and resize the image. You can also move the images. You can edit this text as well, this text too, and this price text as well. You can change the position of these images too. You can even delete the image. And there are a bunch of other options here like rotate replace, share, cut, copy. You can play around with all the available options when you download the program. You can also change this text. You can also resize this QR code, this text here and this one. You can add comments if you want. These can be shapes, you can also draw something. If you want to change the text, you will need to select the object, right click and go into properties. And now you can change the color of the object and also thickness. You can resize this circle, you can change the style of the circle. There are some other shapes here too, like arrows and these complex shapes. When you finished editing this shape, you will have to right click and select complete. You can draw the clouds as well. And you can change the color too. Let's change it to green. And you can also fill it with some color. Let's fill it with green color. And 
change the position of change the position of the vertices okay that's it with the comments uh, well actually you can also add notes here there are a bunch of features in the comment section so you might want to play around with it if you go into page section into page menu section you can select which pages you want to keep in the document and which ones you want to delete maybe we are going to delete the last page so now we have only three pages left in this document if you go into form section you can edit different interactive items here like text fields when the document is saved the user will be able to enter some text into this field also you can add check boxes radio buttons some other elements like combo boxes list boxes push button and even the image object so that's it for the form and let's go into protect tab inside the protect tab you can choose how you want to protect your document you can either protect it from editing by signing the document so if you add a signature in the document here like this I have already created a signature here so I will just edit by typing the password for the signature so now as the document is signed when you save this signed copy with the watermark because the program is not purchased you will not be able to edit this document anymore because the signed document is blocked from editing another way to protect the document if we open the unsigned document once again if you want to protect it by password you can click this lock icon here and add a password this will require a password when someone wants to open the document now let's go into share tab and see what we got here so you can share this document uh, via three different ways the first one is you can send it via email for that you will need to have the email program installed on your computer you can also send it into a dropbox and if i click it now the browser will be opened with the dropbox authentication and you can also send it into a google drive and if you click send to google drive you will need to enter the credentials of your Google account. Don't worry, it's protected and the process is secured. So you'll just authenticate your Google account to use with the PDF Element Pro. After that, you will be able to share every document with one click. This is very convenient. All right, that's it. Now let's close it. And now let's try and create a new document from scratch. For that, we will need to go to file and select new and now we will click the blank button now we have a new document created and we can manually edit this empty pdf so first thing i'm going to add is the text here now you may want to add some images if you click add image button and choose the image from your file system the image is going to be added i will resize it now and move here to the center and also i want to move a text into the center too i will resize the text box and move the text into center you might want to also add some additional text here and move it underneath this image you may want to also add some new pages if you go into page menu here you can insert a blank page or you can choose to insert a page from a pdf we're going to insert the blank page for now we've inserted one new page now let's go to edit and we can add some text here to make it simple, let's just type this text. Mm, 
Now let's insert one more image. This time it's going to be this flower. I will resize it as well and move it down here. And now we have a PDF document with two pages. If you go into page menu here, you can see we have two pages. We can also add some forms. Mm, I don't know, let's add radio buttons here. And let's switch into a selection mode. Now we can change the selected radio button. Okay, that's it for the basic blank PDF document creation. Now we can save this document. Save with watermark as we don't have the license yet. So the document is saved. Now if we go and open this document, you can see it's a usual PDF document. It's similar to any other that you can download from the internet, but this one we've created by ourselves. While creating the PDF document from scratch can be fun, most of the time it isn't practical. It is just much faster to use an external tool like Microsoft PowerPoint, MS Word, JPEG file or even a scan of a paper document to quickly create a basic template that you can edit and save as a new PDF document. I'm going to demonstrate how to do it using a JPEG file that I have prepared already. Let me just click the create PDF option here and select this JPEG file. Now we can see that the PDF document has been created, but the text is not selectable. What we can do here is to perform the OCR, optical character recognition that is built in into PDF element pro. Let's click perform OCR now. We're not going to save it, so just click yes and click save with watermark. It's going to create a new PDF document with characters recognized. We have the default language selected as English and we have the editable text option. Let's click OK. The process might take a few minutes, so we'll have to wait a little bit. This page is small, so it's going to happen fast. Alright, so the text has been recognized and you can edit it now. You can see the text is selectable and editable. All the colors are correct and also the fonts are correct as well. So the PDF element has done a great job recognizing this JPEG file to create an editable PDF document. Alright, so that's it with creating a PDF from JPEG file. Another cool feature of PDF Element Pro 7 is a PDF converter. So you can select a PDF file, one of these, let's select uh, this price catalog, open it up and then you just need to choose the output file format. For now I will select the default which is the docx file, the word document file and I will save this document. Okay, so it's safe. Let's open it up. I will open it with LibreOffice. Okay, you can see the document is here. The text can be edited. The images are also here. So the conversion was successful. Another cool feature of the PDF Element Pro 7 is the batch process. You can click the batch process option here. You will need to add some files. These are going to be all the PDF files. Okay, so they are all added here. And you can either convert them into a single format. You can perform a data extract. You can add the base numbers into every document. You can place a watermark to every document. You can optimize them perform the optical character recognition or encrypt. For now we are going to add the watermark. So let's add the document files once again and choose the watermark that we are going to add. And the watermark is going to be a simple text. Let's click OK and click Start. So all the documents have been processed 
Now let's try and open every document and see if we have the watermark inside. All right, this document have a watermark inside. This one as well. This one too. And the last document also have a watermark added. All right, that's it for the batch processing. One last feature that I wanted to demonstrate is the PDF templates. If you click into PDF templates option here, you can choose to create a new document using one of the templates in this list. You can select by category and filter these documents. Then you can open this document, preview it and start creating by clicking this download button. Now you can edit the template that you have chosen. All right, so this is it for the PDF Element Pro 7 for today. This was a rather long review. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment below about your experience with this program and maybe there are some other alternatives that you can recommend. Don't forget to like this video and feel free to subscribe. See you soon.